Harry Plant starting on pole position with Caleb Marshall alongside Thomas Fleming and Callum Bradshaw on row number two. Clayton Ravenscroft and Lucas Ellingham on row number three with Oliver Hodgson and Cole Kilner rounding out row four. Louis Westover and Thomas Turner on row five rounding out the top ten with Brad Pennell and Aaron Walker on row six. Connor Jump and Matthew Higgins on row seven with Philip Rawson and Reggie Dewey. Go. He's starting on row eight. Gus Lawrence and Daryl DeLeon on row nine with Ewan Wilson and Joseph Taylor rounding out the top 20 on row 10. Gary Edwards and Alessandro Serenetti on row 11 with Lewis Mackey and Alfie Prince on row 12. Theo Macoris, the privateer driver who had a good day uh, yesterday. He's starting on the 13th row with Archie Tillett alongside for the McBarrett Racing Team. Uh, Louis Johnson Cool and Charlie Lamb on row 14 with Jude Farineau and Tyler Reed on row 15 rounding out the top 30. Casper Scusa rounds out row 16 with Harry Pears alongside. And then we come into our B final drivers. Oliver Greetham, Marcus Littlewood, Tom Nippers and Connor Clifford rounding out the 36 cart grid for Senior X Thutter. Is it going to be green light, uh, flag? First time of asking. Platinum on the left, Marshall on the right. Lights out. They're off and racing in towards turn one. Great defensive drive there. Bad start from the 61 Caleb Marshall. Thomas Fleming comes through into second. Marshall holds on to third place though as they get through. Clayton Ravenscross managed to move up into fourth place as well. Platten's getting pushed out wide. It's side by side. Three wide over the bridge as they come down the hill in towards hairpin number one. It is still there in the lead. I believe that is Caleb Marshall who's back in the lead now, is it? No, it's the number eight. It's uh, Thomas Fleming who's leading the way. Sorry. So it's Fleming who leads now as round the long way goes Ravenscroft. Can't do it. Slots back into third place. Good start then from Senior X30. And a particularly good start from Thomas Fleming up from third to first. So nice. See if he can hold that, uh, hold that for too long. You nearly became crofty at the start there, mate. I nearly the, uh, <laughs> I have done <laughs> it several <laughs> times, though, in the past. I will, I will forgive myself. For yeah, it, the man, the man at the back there. I think oh, that was, oh what am I missing? Oh, I tell you what. Caleb Marshall is going to need a new race suit after getting that close <laughs> to that barrier there. He was on the outside and they like... Uh, uh, I think uh, a, a, cl a, a closer, a closer <laughs> moment there. There we go. Uh, you, so you were saying that that wall's basically a magnet, and we almost it, saw it there. Uh, it almost uh, clawed him in. Uh, more comments coming in. Good luck to Oliver Greetham. That's from Sam Sanders. Uh, Paul Jenkins comes in. Good luck to Lewis Mackey from the Jenkins family. There we go. Eight and a half minutes plus that one additional lap. And Fleming leading the way. Uh, Pennell, though, warning flags. Uh, Stewart's yeah. watching you, Pennell. There Naughty we go. You can't get away with anything. You may be one of the PFI Another drivers, well. but you can't get away with anything here at PFI. <laughs> there we go. Got Rawson getting one as well. Yes, indeed. Oh, so it's just got to keep their heads. Not do any more of that, or they could be in for a penalty. Exactly that as they go through. So, yeah, got a little move there into the right hander. Not a, not a place where you usually make a move, but that driver was able to make it stick down in about, I think it was about sort of 10th, 11th, 12th position, that one. Indeed it was. So there we go. Back over the start finish line. Let's have a look at the order then. Fleming, Ravenscroft, Bradshaw, Pennell up into P4. Uh, Marshall, Hodgson, Ellingham. Then it's Kilner, Pennell and Westover are the top 10. Thomas Turner is in 11th place. Aaron Walker, Reggie Dewey's up three positions into 13th place. Connor Jupp, Lewis Mackey's up eight positions. So a good start from Lewis Mackey on the 125. Daryl DeLeon also up two positions in 16th place. Philip Rawson, Alessandro Serenetti up four places in 18th. Gus Lawrence has had not the best of starts. He's down in 19th place at the moment. He's got Ewan Wilson for company in 20th place. And it's Higgins, Tillett, Taylor, Prince, McCurris, Littlewood, Fernho. Then it's Greetham, Piers, Nippers, Reed, Clifford, and Johnson Cool. Uh, we have uh, still got Kuzera there in 34th place. We've lost Charlie Lamb, and Gary Edwards has not started the race. We saw Oliver Hodgson there making a move up from 6th to 5th position there. You can see the drivers at the front, Thomas Fleming and, uh, and the driver behind him. That is... Uh, who's that behind him? The number 75. That's Clayton Ravenscroft. Look at that! Almost going three wide there. They're two by two going into this section of the circuit. That takes bravery. Managing to make it through, though. That wall on the outside gets very close when you go through there <laughs> two by two. But luckily, all managing to make it through. What I was going to say was the drivers at the front were still continuing to, fend, to defend. And this is allowing for all the drivers behind to stay right on their rear bumper as we're still seeing. And look at this gaggle of carts. As we said before the race, we wouldn't really know where to look. And we're still not really knowing where to look. Drivers making moves left, right and centre. Indeed, yeah. Pennell at the front of this group. Oh, I say he's at the front of it. He's no longer at the front of this group because Mick Bat racing driver Colt Kilner in the 25 comes through now as well. Two of the strawberry carts going side by side as well. Who's that? It's the number four. That's Thomas Turner with his teammate. I think that's Aaron Walker who's Goes getting back up the inside with. though. Is indeed. Walker. Turner back down to uh, 
That counts at eight, I think. Uh, it's a six, six, sorry, Reggie Dewey who's yeah, coming Reggie through. Dewey. So uh, Dewey up five spots now. Doing very nicely. Uh, now, changes at the front as under investig uh, investigation is the 127 of uh, Taylor. Uh, so keep an eye on that one. Uh, now, Ravenscroft now in the lead. Fleming has gone back down into second place. So Ravenscroft with a good start this time around. Uh, as Higgins sets the fastest lap of the race on that 175. Where is Higgins currently? 16. 16th place. That's an unusual spot that we uh, see Higgins. He's usually right up there in the sharp end struggling at the moment so five and a half minutes to go and the 99 plate there on your screen Lucas Ellingham for the Jack Deck Racing team is working strong here and working hard and he's got Reggie Dewey right behind him looking for the move can he make it here into this right hander he does indeed opportunistic move there from Reggie moving up another position yeah good move into Bobby Gain corner there as he comes into the Mike Wilson complex again, who's next on the uh, pecking order there for Reggie Dewey? It is the Mick Barrett racing driver of Cole Kilner, who is up next on his list as they go through. Pennell leading this uh, battle as they go through, up under the bridge, through the banking they go. Race leaders now still swapping and changing that uh, group of four. Linus Stern, no changes at the moment as Reggie Dewey sets the fastest lap of the race. I'll tell you what. Reggie Dewey, in his interview for Cartmasters, what did he say? He said, I'm a threat. And here today, he he's is. also looking like a threat. He really is. Yeah, out there on track, we've got, oh, I've just seen someone go for a move. That's for fifth position. Number 66, as we say, Reggie Dewey being a threat, as you said, moving up another place. But we've now got about a train of four, a train of five, another train of four, and then just insanity behind that of yeah. a load of carts. Now, in these sorts of situations, of course, the finishing order from pre-final one determines where you start for your pre-final two later on today. So again, Reggie Dewey, he's had a bit of a nightmare because he had a bad qualifying. He didn't actually set qualifying time, so he started at the back of the grid uh, in all of his races. So he had to work his Got way through. Move. He has indeed, yeah, Reggie Dewey getting past there, moving up into uh, fourth place. Uh, fifth place, sorry, I should say, uh, getting past Pennell. Um, Pennell's Pennell got a couple of positions. Yes, yeah. yeah, yeah, he lost a couple. Callum Bradshaw now fastest lap of the race in third place, so he's closing in on that gap. Uh, so I think he's uh, going to lose a position, actually. Is he into the first hairpin? I believe he just did, down to fourth. Yes, indeed. So GP so. plate moves back up into third. That's Platten. Indeed, yeah. Platten also wanted to keep an eye on. Again, it was a very exciting final in the uh, Count Masters Championship. You can watch that. You can look back, but... After this, look at Reggie Dewey. He's already got a huge gap over the train of carts that he's just absolutely plowed past. So uh, definitely going to be wanting to chase down that leading group now is Reggie. Yes, he is indeed. It's not necessary, you know, because, of course, this finishing position determines where they start for the uh, pre-final two later on today. And, of course, uh, and this will be the highest that if Reggie Dewey finishes in fifth place, it'll be the highest that he will finish uh, so far this weekend. Uh, so he'll be able to start from fifth in that one and have a much better opportunity to get to that sharp end and stick with that league group. Where uh, it really matters. Where it really matters, yeah, because then, of course, then they can get the points in the final later on today. So uh, there we go. Back here at the front, though. David Ravenscroft leading the way from Bradshaw. Platten still there and Fleming right behind as well. The top four line astern. Two and a half minutes to go. They're in the lull. Exactly. Moment. We're having a more measured race yeah. out yeah. front. The guys knowing what they need to do. Just trying to pick up, as you say, as many points as they can as we've had an incident. Where is that? Is that so down that, at Hairpin 1? It is indeed at Hairpin 1. Stopped, number 25. So that is Harry Pears at the moment. The, uh, the privateer driver out of the out cart. Of uh, so that's a big shame, that car coming to a stop and clearly frustrated with himself. It was a, 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 a it looked to me like there was a fusion cart also involved in that one. Not quite sure who it possibly was. It looked like a fusion livery. Uh, it was, I believe, it, I think it was Lewis Mackey. Yeah, he was involved. Like he's it's a big order. shame. Yeah, he's fallen down the order now in 33rd place. Ready to do it with the passes lap now into the 57s. Indeed. It's all starting to heat up here at the front. And here comes Bradshaw. Bradshaw down the inside. Platten follows as well. Ravenscroft cuts the nose though and cuts back across, holds on to second place. So Bradshaw now leading the way for the Strawberry Racing team. Chaos Bot now down into second place. Platten on that GP plate for the BMR team, wanting to fight back strong. He started on pole position. Trust me, he wants to finish this race on pole as well. Minimum points, that's what you need. You want to start as high up as possible in that final later on today. 
thinking, says Ravenscroft. To be like, no, you think yeah. about it. There's still a minute to go. There's still a couple of laps Covers in this. To the inside, though. and Platten's still going to go for it. <laughs> there we go. But that's that. Is, that's Platten. That he does. He, he said, false sense of security. He's yeah. putting the drivers in. He'd be like, okay, I'll let him think that I'm thinking that. Yeah. And then do completely opposite. So uh, there, Ravenscroft. Cover the inside. He does go defensive. But now here comes Mr. Fleming. Fleming run. on the outside. They get a good run, try around the outside again, maybe get a switch back through here. Not quite sure he's going to get a good enough exit. And I have to give it to you again, you didn't predict it this time around, but you were basically correct. I think it was about a 1 minute 20 to go at the hairpins, they started battling. So uh, yeah, the usual in, the, in these types of races. They're only 20 seconds, but I'm not sure they're going to get round. I think they're going to have to do two more laps here. Yeah, they are indeed, definitely so. So here they come, through the final corner as we go on to the penultimate lap of this race. The 2-2-5 still leading this one. That's Callum Bradshaw, but can he hold it to the flag? Bradshaw doesn't like that the last lap board didn't come out. <laughs> Reggie Dewey does like this. Reggie Dewey gives this a thumbs up. There we go. Reggie likes <laughs> this. In two laps, he's closed them down by a second. So he's got 1.15 to the back of them. Possibly, if they continue to battle, certainly he could get on the back of this train and get involved. Uh, Gus Lawrence, fastest lap of the race, 57 nice. seven, uh, 870. We've not spoken about him much in this race again. Ooh. What a very quick driver has a change for the lead oh, there. Oh, goodness me. Ravenscroft holds on to that one. The tyres almost collected each other. Platten holds on to third. Fleming moves up now into fourth place. Bradshaw down into uh, fourth place, sorry. Fleming up into third. Reggie Dewey's close right up into this now. Now it's a five car battle with that last lap board coming out this time around. Oh, I think uh, ring that dinner bell because we're about to be served some supper. <laughs> He's certainly a threat for this final lap. Look at him already right on the back of 225. They're giving him the sign. Keep going forward, mate. We need to catch these guys right at the front. The 225 getting swallowed up on that last lap, but managed to keep full position from Reggie Dewey for now, anyway, as they come through long sweeping left hander over the bridge. Position staying the same at the moment, but what's going to happen as they come down to these first two, two hairpins? Well, let's find out. So, Gus Lawrence again, another fastest lap of the race as they start in this race. He started uh, fairly, he started on the eighth row of the grid in 16th. Uh, and now he's back here in fifth place, uh, battling with this lead group on the final lap. So absolutely fantastic to see it. Matt H on the stream says, "I want to see, uh, I want to see Dewey the Destroyer he's on the podium." Go there he goes up into fourth position. Is Reg? He does indeed. Gets it done, but eyes at the front because Ravenscroft is leading this race at the moment. As they come into the final corner, checker flag is at the ready. And the 75 takes another race win here at Pier 5 for the IAMI O-Plate across the line from Plan and Fleming. There we go. Dewey crosses the line then in fourth place. Bradshaw crosses in fifth. Then it's uh, Walker, Cole Kilner, Brad Pennell, Lucas Ellingham and Gus Lawrence round out the grid on 10th place. Well, I have to say, Gus Lawrence, great performance from uh, him up seven places. That's good going into, uh, of course, pre-final two, because they now will start higher up in that order, uh, and he'll have a better opportunity. If he can gain seven positions again, he'll be in that top three. Quick maths, exactly. though. Quick maths, mate. Yeah, a couple yeah. of people who are not going to be so happy with that one. Lucas Ellingham dropping down from sixth to ninth place. Yeah. And then Thomas Turner, he was on 10th. I think he dropped all the way down to 19th, was it? Uh, not quite. I think fifth, 16th. 16th. Yeah. Still going to be a frustrating one for him, but again, they've got another pre-final to do it all again and try and, uh, try and get as few points as possible to then go into the final. Some more big movers there. Alessandro Serenetti up nine positions, finishing in 13th. Daryl DeLeon up four positions. Marcus Littlewood as well for the Jade Racing Team up 19 positions. <laughs>